It's time to paint our hot dog and our cool cat. We are using a kind of paint called tempera cakes. They're kind of like watercolor paint, which means we need water to wake them up. So every time I want to paint, I have to give my brush a bath first, but I don't want it to be completely dripping wet. So I'm going to wipe it on the lip of the cup, not the lips on your face, the lip of the cup. That helps it so it's not dripping wet. Then I'll pick my first color. I think I'm gonna paint my hot dog first and I'm gonna gently pet that color awake. Not a lot, just a little bit. Ooh, I can see that bright red. If I have too much paint on my brush, it will cover up the beautiful lines I use to make and draw my dog. So I want my paint to be very watery, not super dark or bright. So if I'm using it and it starts to get too dark, I dip a little bit of water, wipe it on the lip of the cup, and I bring that water back to my paper and I can spread that paint around. So we're trying to find the perfect medium of wet paint, but not puddles, but we don't want to cover up our black lines. I'm going to get my brush wet, wipe it on the lip of the cup. One, two, three pets maybe, and then spread that paint around my paper. I want to be careful to stay inside the lines I painted and do my best neat job of painting. Since my dog is hot colors, I could use red. This red looks a little bit pink because pink is just a light red. So I could use red pink, I could use yellow, or I could use orange. I'm going to make the body of my dog this red pink color and then maybe I'll have some other colors somewhere else. If I want to switch colors, I need to make sure my brush is very clean. So I'm drawing an X at the bottom of the water cup until I don't see any more paint coming off of my brush. Wipe it on the lip of the cup, and then I can wake up by gently petting my next color. Now I'm going to paint my cool cat using cool colors. That means I can use blue, green, and purple. I made sure to completely clean my brush before I woke up my next color. I always want to keep my brush wet, but no puddles, and I only gently pet the color I want to use. That kind of is easy to remember since we are painting pets. Pet the paint, just like you would pet the cat or dog. Look how my paintbrush is pulling very smoothly. I'm not pushing my paintbrush or scrubbing my paintbrush. I'm pulling it smoothly and evenly. This helps me keep the paint inside the lines and helps me keep my paintbrush all pointy. Doesn't get a crazy hairdo. I'm switching colors, so I'm drawing an X at the bottom of my water dish and wiping it on the lip of the cup. Now I can gently pet awake my next color. Now I could say that I'm completely done because I have my whole hot dog and cool cat painted. I could also try making some layers of different colors. Maybe I want to make some of my reds look more red orange. So I'm going to wash my brush, wipe it on the lip of the cup, and get a little bit of orange on my brush and go on top of where the red was. Ooh, that's a different pretty kind of orange. Because these colors are kind of transparent or see-through, they will mix together when we paint them on top of each other. So this orange is kind of a red orange. Maybe I want to put some orange yellow dots on my dog's collar. Maybe I just want my tail to be darker. And to make this kind of paint darker, we add layers. So I'm going to wake up a little bit more of my orange and make some lines on top of the orange tail. 
Ooh, maybe I'll even create some dashed lines to make a texture. Now it kind of looks like my tail is fuzzy. That's a fun challenge to do. Think about what ways you can make your artwork even more special or unique. Remember, we're not painting the background. So that also means if you accidentally get outside of the lines, it's not the end of the world. We'll just cut around our Sharpie lines to make sure our dog and cat are nice and neat. So we can cut off any spots you might paint outside of. We're gonna make a different background than what we're painting. Remember to always wash your brush by drawing an X in the bottom of the water cup and wiping it on the lip of the cup so you don't have water dripping all over your paint and your painting. Let's get started.